Uh, give it up on Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles. Where's Rosenberg, yo? Rosenberg's scared to come in here and I talk about scared. the hottest thing in the hood. I know. I told him, I was like, you don't want to come check yo, out the hottest man. thing in the hood, Rosenberg? Yo, man. Yo, give it up. The Money and Violence Boys is here. What's give up? it up. What's yeah. up? What's up? Brooklyn. Introduce yourselves to the people, man. Yo, this is your boy Motivation, a.k.a. Ray from the web series Money and Violence. Welcome to the old Brooklyn. Yo, it's your boy Ray. I play Miz in Money and Violence. You see, yo, look, you see how he's talking? He throws some sunglasses on, busts yeah. his gun, and on he's video. He's in character right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I'm in character. Yo, it's your boy Ace General, and I play Kane for Money and Violence. That's right, looking for a good job. <laughs> Shoot it, Shane, where you at? Shane, what up, man? What's good, what's good? It's your boy, Do. I play Shooter Shane in Money and Violence. Yo, now, so motivation. Yes, sir. Have you realized and seen these dudes start acting different now that the, the show's popping? Um, no, nope. well, keep it real. Be I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, Look, I, I met y'all two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm gonna be hundred. They already acted different. Honest. I'm gonna be hundred ten percent honest, man. Ever since something that occurred at the fa finale, in the finale, Mr. Kane here is always taking pictures now with the gun, like, and I'm like. This wasn't happening. Yeah. As that soon way. as he sat down, he puts on his glasses. I'm like, really? It's, nah, there's they, no sun in here. What's happening? Me, no, you're talking about Kane in the about, back. But I'm talking about him. No, he's funny you acting in anyway. You better check your jaw. <laughs> <Yeah>. Check <laughs> your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now who the... Uh, we got Styles. I mean, Styles, yeah, yeah. You, you don't like to be known, so we'll leave you in the back. I got That's my cool. manager, C Styles 911, right and here. And who's the young man right here? He was in an episode two. Oh, yeah, this the dude... Yeah, yeah, it's Grimy Todd, man, the the most the most hated man in America, aka <laughs> Steph to Death, yeah. aka Master Stuffing on the Gram. You heard? Look, he trying to plug his Gram, yo. Follow me on the Gram, right? <laughs> on, on the Scott Day Nine. On so if you if you haven't seen it on YouTube, how many uh, views are you at now? Money and violence. Right now, we um we're over three million views, and that's total all the episodes. That's total all the right. episodes, right. but. Uh, I'd say two point about two point two million of those views have been in the last like forty days. Really? Wow. So it's really picking up. Yeah. Standing. Once it picked up, it just like. So now up. that you guys, how many views do you do when you put out an episode like within like forty eight hours? Um. What, well, it's been increasing like every week. Uh, the last time, last the last episode we put up, which was episode twenty three, we did like uh, about thirty thousand in seven days. Now. The finale that we just put up, we did twenty thousand mm. in a day and a half. Real numbers. Yes, y'all not numbers. out here. Y'all ain't got buy, money to be buying, buying no, none no, of the no, yeah, likes, yeah. no nothing. C Styles, what you what you prepping him to say? Oh no, no, I was just letting you know because that's off of YouTube. But on yeah, but that's TV, not even so on our website as well. So what's the website? The website. Uh, the first night we put it up. What's the no? What is it actually? The website is www.cloud9tv.net. Okay. Um, the first night we put it up, we did about. I think we did about 20,000 in an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, we crashed. Yeah, they crashed us over. Yo, shout out to Nikki's Jamaican restaurant over there on, uh, where, where were we at? 80th uh, and Flatlands. Flatlands, yeah. Come I on, put see. up an Instagram vid with y'all. Yeah, and yeah. just the amount of comments, because what's the, what episode number am I in? 20, You're in it's going to be finale. the season finale yeah. part two. Season finale oh, so part two, season I'm in. Finale. I'm in, I'm I'm in yeah. there. I had to jump in because it's the hottest thing in the hood. So, so <laughs> what, what type in? of character does Ebro play in this? A he, square, I play a square. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's, 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 a, he's a dude that, you know, he used to be in the streets, but he changed his life. That's right. And um, basically, he's just, you know, we bump into each other, and he's just like, yo, bro, why are you still doing this? You're so much better than this, you know? Mm, so you're a good guy. You see? Oh, you thought I was going to get in there and I didn't know what brandish you were gonna do. a weapon? I didn't, I didn't know what you were going <laughs> to no, do. No, ma'am. <laughs> um, so convince people, because um, I've, I've seen people talk in my comments on Instagram, and I think people are, are concerned. Mm -hmm. The title, Money and Violence, mm -hmm. your young men putting together a production in your neighborhood with your crew of people, right? In one neighborhood, y'all, Canarsie, most of y'all yeah, are from Canarsie, yeah. Flatbush, Flatbush, Bush. Brooklyn, Flatbush, Brooklyn. Right. And, and um, Shane is from Far Rockaway. And, and, but it's the communities behind y'all. Like, all the young people watching it, people are really into it. But right. it is drugs, violence, murder. It's, 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 re it's reality. It's re th this is the thing. Um... If I was to do a story about the urban jungle, I cannot do a story where everybody's working a nine to five because that's not what goes on. Okay. Um, I believe that you can tell a story, but what it is, is is what perspective that story is told from. I can give you a story about drugs, but rather than show you the joys and show you the pain and make it a lesson, rather than something... So is that what this is? Yes. Is that what money and violence is? Very much so. Money and violence is about so much more than just money and violence. You know, um, yes, 
We display robberies that occur. We display. Oh wait, wait time out, time out, time out. Keep, keep, keep. I thought he was scared to come in. The white wait, boy think, was scared. You think I'm not down with the hood? <laughs> nah, we're gonna. Yo, this is the, the hottest thing in the hood. hood. <laughs> this is the hottest shit in the hood. Sorry, Amber call. You know how to take that call. Come on, man. Amber Rose. Yeah. What she say? Real him. quick. Oh, I told her. I told her some thoughts about what? her thoughtin. Just you about, told her thoughts on her thought. <laughs> thoughts on thoughts on thoughts. We'll talk about it later. But we guys, talk. we have guests. All right, now back, back to the positive you thing you watch I, I want to hear about the thought story too. I said, Amber. I said, Amber. I got an idea for you. Yeah. I know you have a lot of auditions up there right. in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. What about coming and doing an, yeah. an episode of Money and Violence? Yes, yeah, so what's up with that? She <laughs> said, she <laughs> says, just get the paperwork and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there people talk to her people. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Talk to C Styles. I, so, so, but it's not your typical hood stories, what no, you're trying to say. This and, is, and in what <clears throat> ways? Because I think a lot of people will call bullshit because the, the, the title says Money, money and Violence. And violence so you're definitely baiting people in not using what you know they want to see. Not necessarily because the whole theory of capitalism is money and violence. Okay. Money and violence... It's called money and violence because those are the two things in this world that people respect. Mm. You understand, if I want your attention, either I'm going to show you the money or I'm going to club you over the head. That way you're going to listen. Mm. You know, so that's the whole basis behind the title. It, it's not representing, you know, money as in drug dealing, violence as in killing people. It's just that theory as far as it being the only two pe things in this world that people respect. But then you got your man right here. We was mm -hmm. talking because Joey Badass is from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. GS9 is from the neighborhood. And y'all all, all kind of... Y'all know each other. Everybody knows each other. Yeah, family everybody knows of each other, you know, to some degree. He wants money and violence all the time. You. I mean, that's what we promote. I mean, that's what I promote. <laughs> money or violence. To a degree. So, you know what I mean? He, to, he's going to clean it up. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but the reason I point that out is because that attitude is real there. And we talk about a lot on this show, right? Mm -hmm. People get mad at some of the imagery that's in music. They get mad about the reality mm -hmm. shows and things like that. But those ratings are very high, mm -hmm. right? But the reason I use you as an example, sir, mm -hmm. is because you like that content. We had a whole debate yeah. about it when we was over at Nikki's restaurant. Yeah, we was like, I don't want to fuck, fuck all that knowledge. I don't want to hear that. I want to. No, I, it's cool. I, I listen to knowledge, but I prefer trap music. That's my, but but you preference. also have to understand his preference. Like it's trap music is entertainment. You understand? Yeah, but I'm... but people live that life though. Uh, and there's young uh, people who think that that's the way. That is. Oh true. no, I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you that's the way. I mean, I listen to what I could relate to and mm. what wakes me up. Like I'm not gonna listen to Joey Badass because I can't relate to him. Mm. He's listen, from your neighborhood. But I mean, I can relate to you yeah, because he's from my life, neighborhood. Yeah, his life isn't necessary. Um, what our life was. Another thing too, you have to understand. Like I understand his extreme because this is my thing. If I give you all the respect in the world and you choose to disrespect me when I gave you no reason to, then you just gave me a blank check to do whatever it is that I please to you and feel no way about it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so that's why if you watch Money and Violence, even with these characters, with them doing what they do, it's very principle based. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that um, the streets as well. As There's a, a code of conduct. Yeah, like a lot of people have adapted this money over everything ideology. And with money over everything, that means principles go out the window. That means love, trust, everything goes out the window. You know, so we want to reacquaint the streets with the more principles over paper where it's like, OK, yeah, we all need money because it's a necessity and that's what we need to live. But it's not for us to put yeah. our I'm principles to grease, the side for money. I'm not going to grease my man for bread. Like. You know, I believe that. And do you feel like that idea is conveyed in Money and Violence? Yes, I do. Very much so. In every single character. But at the same time, we also have to give you the flip side. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, we have a character a like Grimy Ty. We have a character like Leon. Shit. Which which are the characters which represent this new 2014, 2015 mentality. You know, because with me showing the good, I have to show you the bad in order for you to learn. Laura, you had some questions for No, me. I'm just curious. Can we take it to the beginning? How, sure. how did this all begin? Whose idea was it? Did you guys have any, like, did you have a background in film and writing? And no. How did it all come? It's all I've, his idea. I've never done film a day in my life. This project is the first time I ever stepped foot behind a camera. It's the first time I've ever edited. It's the first time I've ever done anything. I have written two novels, which I never published. I'm, and, you know, I'm just weird like that. Like, I woke up one morning and I decided I want to prove to myself I could write a book. Plus, I have a daughter, so I love doing these things to show her. You know, like, so in the future, it's like, I could write a book because my daddy wrote one. Right, I could do right, a film because right. my daddy did a film. You know, um, and it's basically an idea. I woke up one morning, you know, and I went to him, who's my right-hand man, and I'm like, yo, I'm thinking about, we should do a film. And he was like, let's go. Let's do it. We never, we never did a movie before, but hey, let's do something. And did all of you guys know each other before this? Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a media company called Cloud9 TV, which are me, 
uh, Ray who plays Miz, Dude who plays Shane, and Ace who plays Kane. So we're four partners. And um, when I came to them with the idea, like, you know, this is the thing with us. There's trust there. So if I say let's do this idea, even if it doesn't work, they know my, I never had malintentions, you know, and I want the best for all of them. So therefore, it's like, all right, we're going to trust you. We're going to follow you into the dark, and let's make the best of it. Who are the main writers? Is it all you? I write everything. Writes everything. Oh, okay. Hmm. What episode Money and violence. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What now? No, he just introduced me to it today. Oh, just now? Yeah. Okay. Well, yo, why are you pressing her? I mean, I, I want to know, that's man. What, that's what I'm, that's <laughs> what I'm asking If you're going to question me about my product, I got to make sure you test the product. No, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I want to know more about it. Wow. So yo, it's like Laura. you're selling it to me back. Laura, what did yes. I tell you? It's the hottest, hottest thing, thing in the hood. Hottest <laughs> thing in the hood. New York, we <laughs> back. Shout out, Shout out now, Brooklyn. Now, have y'all been getting love for other boroughs? Because I know a lot of the fan base is Brooklyn. Like, it's heavy, heavy. No, believe it or not. A lot of the fan base is Australia. A lot, a, a huge China. piece is um, Canada, uh, Texas, New Orleans. But are Atlanta. they just? Are they once? Are we once again seeing where people are um, just enamored by seeing young black men being violent in their neighborhoods? No, because because we know the reason hip hop is as big as it is around the world mm -hmm. is because there's an infatuation with black men in America mm -hmm. and our story. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of our story is violence, is money, is trying to find fast ways to get out of bad circumstances, mm -hmm. right? Are people just enamored with that or are they really getting the message you're trying to convey? No, they're getting the message because I'm getting... I got a comment, um, I got a DM from a woman about two weeks ago on Instagram who said, listen, you know, I am someone who, I lost my son to violence at the age of 17. And she was like, I commend you for what it is that you're doing because I can tell the message behind. <laughs> now, this is the thing, you have to understand. If I came to the youth as a preacher in a suit on a pulpit, they would reject me automatically. So what I have to do is actually come to them as what they respect because advice is only advice if you respect the person it's coming from. If you mm -hmm. do not respect that person, it's just a bunch of noise. So right. being that they're so entranced with this gangster lifestyle and being, you know, a long time ago that that was a part of me. I'm gonna use that to get through them. Through to them, it's my way to trick them into learning to some degree. You know, um, they say a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. So it's my way of giving them that something medicine. that they want, something and they feel they taste exactly. good, so they'll get the message. Exactly. Hang out for a minute. Money and violence is here. We're gonna uh, run the trailer for y'all watching on YouTube. Um, it's Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles. Where Rosemar go? Back to talk to Amber Rose. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. he's such a little bitch, yeah, yo. He left. He's always he's on the phone with that. You think he's scared? We make yeah. him uncomfortable. No, he has, a, he, has a, he has a special infatuation with Amber. He better leave I her do. alone. Hey, nah, uh, <laughs> man, we don't talk about people that's married and shit. Uh, she's, not she's, not married. Married. she's not married. Oh, they got divorced. Yeah, she's not married no more. Oh, she's not married no more. Oh, <laughs> look, he knows. Watch like, money and violence. Watch money and violence, girl. You might like men. <laughs> Kane, these streets are not for you. End the discussion, man. Gangsters move in silence, but they can't be seen. Real niggas move in shadow, can't be heard till it's too late. Ribs is touching, man. And you know how a hungry wolf get. How you get turned down at McDonald's? Niggas didn't fuck with you on these streets because of dog, gang. In the streets of Brooklyn, it's eat or be eaten. When you're amongst hungry wolves, everyone's fool. You have to watch what you do. Watch what you say. See, I don't want to so see they you work, but they bring you a little it's closer. Money. Yeah. You said you ride the dice, you look like a soldier. Money and violence. All the shit I can't make up, no. All the sweet that I'm smoking. Fuck around, might wake up my neighbors. Let my old heads be silent. My young boys, they stay strapped. Been around here like gangland. Even grown men get kidnapped. I mean, get frapped. Click, clack. Shots rip through your six pack. Real nigga, I been that. They talk about it, I live that. So Brooklyn, so NY. My mask on, my Tim's side. And on black, like bitch rock. You walk in, we inside your house. You got it on Ebro in the morning. Hot 9-7, Laura Styles, Rosenberg somewhere running around, scared to be in a room with money and vibe. <laughs> He's uncomfortable. That's Horrible. Right. We got the whole team here hanging out. We've been talking about, um, you know, their reasons behind shooting um, this money and violence, how they decided it. I know, I just think it's the whole story is amazing on how it came to be because listen, he's a prime example. Like if you wake up one day and you're like, I have this dream to become a filmmaker, right? You mm -hmm. went and you said you're self-taught. You learned how to edit everything on YouTube. He used the Correct. power of the internet to create this. And now look at his vision it is reality and it's amazing, millions of views. A lot of TV shows don't even get little things like that. <laughs> Real. 
Yeah, Real. I mean, I mean, you know, um, at the end of the day, you have the power to make yourself anything in this world. You know, I woke up one morning and said, I want to be a director. And that's what I am now. You know, people need to understand that the ho- the only human hands that can stop you are your own. Now, you, but you've been getting some, I've seen, also seen some flack where people are like, yo, the acting's whack, the editing's whack, the shooting's yeah, whack. You know, hitting, which but we're not I, no I'm not, not going to call it hate because I didn't expect anyone to say it's great acting. None of us have ever acted. Right. You know, right. the only thing that, I'm, I'm fine because, okay, you can tell me the acting's whack. You can say the editing's whack. I've never acted. I've never edited. But you also say that you watch the entire series and you also say it's great writing. And, and, you, and, and I think, listen, the reason I jumped and wanted to be in an episode, I'm in that, what is it, the finale, 24th. Part, 24th. The, finale. Mm-hmm. the reason is because I saw some young men doing it on their own, and I'm I'm the type of person that once you create, once I see you putting in that work, I'm going to reach out to you, mm-hmm. right, versus you having to reach out to me. Which you know we appreciate. Yeah, we respect so, that. So, but I... I also just like to see people use the tools at their disposal to create exactly. their own reality. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I hate when people just be like, yo, I need help, I need help. Especially now when you got so much social media. Mm-hmm. If you really dope like that and you got your friends, your family, your neighborhood, you should be able to build your network and start to pop, right? Yeah, and that's another thing I want to say too, that our over 3 million views has been 100% organic. This buzz has been created through word of mouth. Yeah, word of mouth. You know, when we first started, a lot of people would reach out to us and they'd say, you know, what can I do for you? And I'd be like, listen, what I would like for you to do for me is tell a friend to tell, tell a, friend a friend and ask them to do the same. Shout out That's to our all. supporters, man. Yeah, shout out to all our supporters on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, and and do you you feel like the audience watching sees every message? See, Styles was saying there's a message in every episode. There's a yeah, message there pretty much in every single episode. In every single episode. Uh this this was something you have to understand that this was something that was very thought out. It was strategic. I believe that wars are not won by luck; they're won by strategy. So, at the end of the day, I wanted this to be more than entertainment. What we actually did when we decided to do the film project, because I'm a strong believer that in order to be better, you must be different. So, I said, you know what? We've seen the state properties. We've seen the bellies. Um, for one. We're weak in production because I've never been behind a camera. I can't edit. Where can we be strong? So I figured, all right, where we can be strong is storyline, is dialogue. So I tried my best to make us as strong as possible there so that it can balance it out. Also as well, being that I don't, I, I didn't have a following at the time. I just wanted to give people something that they never saw on screen, which was something that was more reality-based without necessarily being a reality show, you know, which is a true depiction, a true representation of life. And I figured that, you know, the same way they say that, you know, the truth will always, will always prosper, the sun will always shine, real recognizes real. If I put the truth out there, it will be received. Um, on another <clears throat> note, um, you guys all being from Brooklyn, you guys have all known each other. You some, you know, some of the blocks that y'all live on is still very, very bad, and kids are making bad choices, right? Mm-hmm. You, sir, you've moved, and you know, mm-hmm. now you live in downtown. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you got the <laughs> deluxe apartment. Well, well, everybody know where we live. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? But no, the reason yeah. I say that though is because you have been able to put in work and advance yourself beyond where you started, right? Mm-hmm. Which is what we all are trying to do. And I always talk about, you know, this idea because you're hearing in hip hop and everybody thinks that people are glamorizing the hood because that's what they talk about. And they're proud of their existence. They're proud of what they have and they put it in music and they put it in songs instead of always feeling bad about where they started. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they try to make it look as amazing as possible when they go out to make a song or a video. But I'm always telling people, yo, those people talking about selling drugs or talking about, you know, uh, killing or talking about, they would rather not be those things. They would rather be another person but... But circumstances were such they had to make decisions that they felt they needed to to survive and now this is their reality and so now they're making songs about it because they want to try to you know be as confident as they can with their existence. Not to cut you off, we don't know no real hustler or killer that glorifies that or want to be that. Exactly. I mean if a a rapper or somebody want to rap about it because they think it's cool it's because they don't know the pain and the sacrifices that people really go through to even deal with that type of lifestyle. So we don't respect it. At all. At all. But you like music that's about it. Yeah, and I like certain artists. That's why I say I like your T.I., I I like Hove, certain certain artists. It's entertainment. Like certain rappers, I listen to what they say and I start laughing. Exactly. And certain rappers will say something I'll be like, oh, shit. Like, he was Because you know it's real versus fake. Yeah. Like, oh, nah. He but then that. what do you say to the person that's like, yo, but you know better. Why aren't you rapping about a better existence? Why aren't you shooting a better a, a better reality in your money and violence? Because 
we give some, as an artist, an artist is giving you their life. So how are you gonna tell me what's better? Not I'm giving you me. Not only that, but you understand what I'm saying. saying. You don't no, know no, what I'm but, asking. But this is my thing, right? I believe that um, art imitates life when authenticity lies at the core of what it is that you're trying to do. I cannot make an ER. I cannot make a law and order because I've never been a cop. I've never been a doctor. I can only give you an authentic work of what I am familiar right. with. And unfortunately, this is what I was familiar with. Um, it's not anything that I was happy about. It's not anything that I was proud of. But that's why I write it from the perspective that I do, whereas it's not the joys, it's the pain. You know, so it's crazy to me because people are like, okay, another black film about violence. All right, but there have been westerns where they were killing whites were killing whites way before, Arnold Schwarzenegger way before we were people. even allowed to make film. Arnold Schwarzenegger was killing thousands of people. Rambo was killing thousands of people. But so, the expectation is, is because we actually live in that existence and we know the pain that the, it caused. The, the, just, the expectation, right, mm -hmm. is that we will now try to make content that is something different, a different perspective to look at it, which mm -hmm. is what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. But most people, because of the title, money and violence, are gonna assume it's the same black men, same violence, black men. crack, killing each other in the hood, same thing. And the expectation is that we need to do better and that we should be trying to make film and web series or whatever about where we want to be not where we are i mean okay you, you wanna, no well, let me just say one thing um you look at these characters in money and violence you look at my character for one my character is a great father my character is a moral man my character is loyal to his friends my character is not someone that's going to rob someone who's working hard for their money because at the end of the day they're in the same fight that we are okay he may rob a bank he may rob an armored truck this is insured money this is the government's money they rob us all day so we're gonna rob them um so i believe that with all of the positivity that is money and violence if you want to pinpoint at the negative people are always going to talk i just mm -hmm. don't always have to listen and basically, that's what I was gonna say. You, can't, satis you can't satisfy everybody. And exactly. a lot of time, a lot of time, people pick on certain things because they don't want to see you progress. Exactly. Because you could look at money and violence and say, "Oh, they're killing each other." But you could also look at it like, "Yo, these people never acted, never did this in their life, and look how dedicated right. they are." Like for six months straight, we had no regular life. Or that's all we this was, was doing. It. <laughs> like, I admit it. Right. Like right. we have kids, and a lot of time. My partners wasn't seeing their kids. They wasn't. They, they couldn't because they had to work, whether it was cold or not. They're not seeing the good because they want to see you down. I don't. I, I don't. Do you care. do you guys feel like you're getting support from people who recognize yeah. that the work and a the lot. creativity, a and ingenuity, and the kind of DIY and, DIY do it yourself? And you that's know? why we kept going because we were like, nah, we can't let them down because it was pure pure fans. are like, nah, I love this, y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing, and we like, nah, we can't drop the ball on this. Shane and, got something. Go ahead. Yo, what 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 really bugged me out about everybody talking about this killing? Not even a lot of people die. It's 24 episodes. We <laughs> did. Yeah, nobody, we went 24 episodes I in. I think three which is, people died. Maybe. Yo, Ebro, let me, let me tell you something. But crazy. you know, but here's the thing, though. Hold on. Here's me, the oh, thing. Wait, wait, we from me, around bro. some of this. Three people dying to us is no big deal. Three people. No. A person. A gunshot. Ebro. Yo, my man shot a random shot at a dude looking at a fat <laughs> ass in broad daylight. In the, how, many soldiers, how, many, how many soldiers you think that real just talk. died? How many real soldiers talk. Like, They're not even showing you that. No real talk. Nah, but nah, but like, we did 24 episodes. That's two... That's two seasons on TV. And only about 10 people died within two seasons. How is it a lot of killing? Not, yeah. Not even 10. Not I'd even 10 people. Maybe four or five. Maybe nah, four. It's, it's more than that because the count, the Jamaicans, the, the count is higher <laughs> okay. than that. So, but at the, end of the, at the end of the day, though, no, but at the end of the day, it's not that many killings. <laughs> let, 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 let's be honest. But, and listen, the That's reason too, I'm pressing y'all right now is, right, because mm -hmm. this is the moment, right? It's cool, you know, when it's around the way and it's on the gram and it's on YouTube and, you know, whatever sites is carrying it, right? Mm -hmm. But this is that moment now where you cross, you cross over, mm -hmm. right? You getting phone calls from some real, you got some real mm -hmm. reputable meetings lined up mm -hmm. where people are going to try to take it to the next level, right? I, I'm that moment. We're that moment where it crosses to the mainstream, mm -hmm. right? Up. And so I'm pressing y'all. This is light. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pressing y'all so that y'all ready for the full court press that's about to come your way. I get it. We I get it. We're, 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 we're war ready, man. You know, we're war ready at the end of the day. Uh, like I said, I'm very strategic, and I know what's to come. 
you know? And uh, I, I feel it's a privilege to even fight this war because there are millions of people who who have worked all their lives and haven't even gotten to the point that we were able to get in six months. So I'm humbled by it. Yeah. I'm humbled by it and, and I, I'm so grateful and I feel privileged to even have the opportunity to fight this fight. So I welcome it. You know, all challenges are welcome. We're not scared. See Styles, anything we left out? You know, I'm just laughing. Come on, come on, come up. Come I'm to the mic. I'm just laughing a little bit because if you give us the, the worst part of the chicken, we make chicken gizzard. If you give us the worst part of the pig, you know, we make chitlins out of it. And with these guys, they took a camera and one boom mic. I've seen it for ourselves. Yep. And they took what they had to their disposal and made money and violence out of it. And getting to know them and being around them, they really almost the characters that they play, in a sense. And they could be doing something totally worse. And to see them out there really progressing, doing what they doing, and making this as something positive for themselves. Yo, they gave up a lot of sacrifices. None of them work regular jobs anymore. Half of them don't work. And some of them, Steph still got to go to work this afternoon. You know what I'm saying? And still come back and shoot for six, seven, eight hours. So... That's, that's progress in itself. That's just them pushing themselves to the next level. And then when you watch every episode, I sit there and go, in some of the episodes I sit there and go, wow, I wish I heard, I would have heard that as a kid because I would have right. listened to this right. instead of listening to somebody yeah. else. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of principles in there. He said it's, it's a part in his, it's one of the most profound things. He probably could say word for word because he wrote it. But when he was telling a dude on there, he was like, yo, what makes you, me and you friends? Because I said I'm your boy every day. Cause we sit on the stoop every day. That don't make me and you friends. And sometimes the kid gotta hear that to know everybody. They say they're your man, they're your Ain't family. Your they not your family. Yo, what up, fam? Nah. Everybody, yo, what, bro. Man. What up, bro? Bro, yo, bro. bro. It's don't call me bro. bro. And that's a lesson in itself. <laughs> no, but I think the biggest part for me is just now after listening to the stories behind it. I think they're a great example of like how you really can do anything. And I think people who are watching it now that were like, you know what? I always wanted to shoot something, but I never thought I could. I don't have the money to go to school or, or can afford it. You guys did it. You, go, mm -hmm. you guys did you it. Go, and I gotta, think that's an amazing thing. Listen, so you got you got to grind. You got to go hard. Like, I don't care if you got a dollar, you broke, you pop. If you got a vision, my nigga, Jeez. grind and go hard. Yeah, a lot of people, you know. Period, just go hard. They, a lot of people say I'm gonna wait till the time is right, but the time's never gonna be right. You know, never. they sit back and they wait for things to be perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. You know, like I said before, the only human hands that can stop you are your own. People need to recognize and they need to um, acknowledge their potential. Because once you realize your potential, man, like the possibilities are endless. The last thing I just want to say. Go ahead, C Styles. Close it out, C Styles. Yo, that's great. your man, Laura Styles. Yeah, yeah that's my boy. <laughs> I don't mean that's your man, man. Oh no, no, no. Y'all got no, the same no. last name. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna say, they just made a lot of kids in the hood realize we don't gotta be rappers. We just don't gotta be basketball That's players, real. sports players. These guys, I watched them on the street. It was crazy. The club pack out for them, and they not they not a rapper. We had lines reaching around. My DM look like I'm a the, rapper. Just, <laughs> yo, man, see, you always gotta mess everything up, man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So you got you people can go, yo, I can really pick up a camera yeah. and do that. You know what I mean, like. I remember, I'm, last thing I'm gonna say, I remember I don't got a, I got a high school education. I get mad at people that got a college degree and be like, yo, I can't find no work. Cause you got better education than me. These guys, you got people that got di director degrees and this dude picked up a camera. But that don't mean they got thing. hustle like him. And they got hustle. And that don't mean just cause you went to college you don't mean you got yeah. work ethic. And you got that work ethic and that's all, it had to, that's all you gotta have. So yo, just make kids know that, yo, yo stop, I can stop go talking to people to ears off, man. Let more talk. Money and violence. Instagram, at cloud9tv <laughs> underscore. Yo, follow, follow my Instagram, me. Ray. No, uh, no, no, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> off with his mic. Off with his mic. <laughs> off with his <laughs> mic. Get out of here. Nah. <laughs> yo, he the scumbag of the curse, yeah. right? Nah, nah. It's always a light skin nigga, man. It's always a light skin Yo, this guy up. told me earlier, shout out to Munch, we outside, I'm like, yo, hurry up, let's get in the car. He gonna be like, yo, light-skinned dudes get cold, cold faster. <laughs> <laughs> Say it ain't so, DVD. Yo, give it up, money and violence yeah. if you yeah. have to watch it. YouTube. Yo, the important, TV, here's the important piece here for everybody, man. You see some young people doing what they can with the resources at their disposal, yes. pulling their community, pulling their, their their friends and family together to create a movement. And I think that's the the story here, you know? And I'm sure we're gonna see you guys working on other content that you're gonna put out after this, right? Cause you're Definitely. probably gonna sell this to somebody, they gonna take it, they gonna rework it, throw it on something, and then you gonna get paid, and then you gonna have an opportunity to now do something else. On a and so that scale. something yeah. else is when I'm really gonna be scrutinizing y'all again, cause then we'll get, 
see if y'all could show us in a different light. Right. I definitely when you get some resources and you get some support. Gotcha. I guarantee you I'll make you proud, bro. I All guarantee right, fellas. you on that. What you got before we go? Brooklyn, we got y'all. Just make sure you check Money and Violence out on cloud9tv.net or on YouTube. Hashtag Money and Violence. Oh, one more thing. When you post it on Instagram. Uh, soundtrack coming soon. For money, money and violence. violence. All, original, all, yeah. all, all original. All original music. All original. Yeah. All original. Yeah. Anybody we know already. All on sound. All the shout out to shout Bam. Shout out to Bam Vito who he did our that intro song Money, money and Violence. And shout OP. out to On Point Like OP who got the Zogar record. And shout out to um Philo Christ who did a uh, Badman the Running. So it's going to be hip hop. So wait, are y'all Haitian, Jamaican? <clears throat> I'm what? Haitian. Haitian. Haitian and American. 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 Trini. Trini. Oh, Trini. there. World. And Styles is East New York. Bro, <laughs> East Wait. New York, he's just black. <laughs> he's just black, regular Quite black. <laughs> Y'all, hey, thanks, fellas. Thank you very much. Thank you. How the fuck did this nigga get my back, man? <sighs> that really, that gotta be my back. It has to be. What the fuck, man? I know I stashed my shit. Damn. Yo. Oh. I'ma see you, nigga! I'ma break your fucking jaw! This nigga not even fucking This nigga not even worth it, man. Stupid ass nigga, man. that for me? You know I do. What's up? Let me see. No, nigga, I thought you said it was brand new. It is. So what's the box? You don't need no box. And it, what you mean? And it come with a box? You don't need no box, man. No shells? You coming to get that for what reason, man? One reason only, bro. Bob Stout still want to know where you got it from. Is it clean or not, my nigga? Of course it's clean. I got it from the source, as I usually do. From my head up top. 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 Alright, say no more. How much? Same price. This nigga right here, man. You just solid with it, huh? No communication. Keep it simple, man. Yo, make sure that shit clean, my nigga. You ain't gotta worry about that, man. You know how I play. Yeah, say no more. You already know what it's here for, man. Look for some shells for me, my nigga. I need some shells. It's fully loaded, man, for now. Got you. All right, say no more. All Be right. safe. Yo, I'm gonna turn that fucking 500 to 5,000. What the fuck you mean, know what I mean? Listen, I'm about fucking black people, know what I mean? I'm about liberty. I'm about fucking justice, know what I mean? I'm a fucking freedom fighter, know what I mean? I'm trying to fucking save our fucking race, man. I'm trying to get our fucking 40 acres and a mule back. You don't fucking believe me, know what I mean? Fuck this shit, man. You got me, right? Hey, yo, we getting busy or what, boy? Man, be quiet, bro. Fuck that. We got it. We getting busy right now, man. All right. Man, I'll call back, man. Come on, man. Respect this fucking jaw, man. Bitch. Bad man ain't no running Bad man no wear tight pants with him gunning 
pussy so oh boy them disrespect me don't him Pure bad girl they around me and they blown it Cause when you fuck with them bad man and try this run. way This will have to mix it up the situation stick it Trigger finger itchy if the pussy cat them frisky Don't fi bite no bitchy or no switchy when we rich it No pay me like no picnic We creep round and burn him Hot dance on him moving down with them we done him Only not the one we playing go for them we gunning Days are not a tears are when we shot them soft fi stun him Stop fi stun him When bad man ain't no running Bad man no wear tight pants with him gunning Pussy so oh boy them disrespect me don't him Pure bad girl they are around Cause when you fuck with them bad man they can't fuck with them Pull off in the Rari cause we parking up the Bentley Pussy them a preemie cause me shoot them Giuseppe Me loading up me semi cause bad man never running Pull it down and war take on whatever's coming Big AR feel like somebody's drumming Real youth no power with pussy, them man are hungry They rip apart your stomach with bad man ain't no running